What's up, Doombots? And welcome to the last part of my Blitz series, the Tony Scringili Blitz System. We talked a lot about the philosophy of Blitz, uh, the tier system I use to rate teams, and at this point we obviously know what our roster looks like, so now we just have to make sense of it. Uh, it may take some trial and error, but after a few Blitzes, uh, we'll know where our teams fall, and then we can move on to the final two-part uh, core of my Blitz system. Uh, part one is get, uh, and part two is good. Uh, no. Uh, part one is uh, set up camp in tier eight as fast as possible, and two is increase your PPR, or your points per rotation. So just from there, we're going to go right into how to get to tier eight as fast as possible. Uh, every blitz is divided into 72 hours with four uh, daily charge resets, and where you live, or what time zone you're in, determines how you want to use your charges. Uh, most players will stick to a very standard uh, start from the bottom, work their way up approach, uh, which is an absolutely great method of blitzing in the early game when you don't have a very well-defined roster. Uh, and if you live in Europe, Africa, Asia, basically Eastern Hemisphere for the argument, uh, where the blitzes tend to start at the dead of night. Uh, for players in the Americas or Australia, the Western Hemisphere, uh, Blitz is a very different animal. For us, uh, we are burdened with time. The very first day of a Blitz uh, lines up with the Medic Supply Run refresh, which is anywhere from 225 to 270 charges, uh, and our 100 daily resets. Uh, we have to spend them early, or we lose them. We really have to get a lot of attacks in earlier, so uh, we'll get to that in a second. Right now, let's talk about splitting the player base on Eastern and Western Hemisphere, and we'll just kind of quickly go over what it means. I'll start with the Eastern Hemisphere. Uh, Eastern Hemisphere players, their blitz starts anywhere from 1 to 9 a.m., like very early morning. So it's a safe assumption to say most people are going to be asleep at that point. Uh, you won't see your first blitz until the morning at the earliest, but you have a lot of hours before your reset, and you only have to spend the 100 charges daily, once you're at cap, of course. This is always assuming you have cap of Blitz charges. So you only have to spend the 100 before you lose them. For you, please, start from the bottom and work your way up. You have to win 28 total fights to enter Tier 8. So with the width of your roster, that time frame decreases. Still not that crazy. I have a couple of samples somewhere around here there they are for opening rotations for western hemisphere players based on rosters that range from 45 to 100 and assuming some average amounts of, of teams per tier some number of s teams a teams etc mix and match and find you're happy just use these as a guide uh, hopefully uh, it'll make sense if it doesn't feel free to shoot me any questions but more or less you can kind of track where each team is used and you can use the little scale i have to determine am I in the right spot. Once you enter tier eight, you basically stick to your S and your A teams and you try to avoid spending charges until the end. Uh, as a rule, you never want to buy a blitz battle for 50 charges when you have teams capable of winning at 25. I'll spare you the, the math, but long and short, if your strongest team is double the power of your second strongest team, it still makes more sense to spend the 25 charges on the second strongest team. It's just about how many points you get. As a bonus, you can keep track of how many points per rotation you get, and it'll let you know if it's even worth it for you to spend if you're on target to reach a goal. Another example I can give you is why PPR matters. The simplest example I can give is if you want 1 million points and you're at 100,000, and you get 100,000 per rotation, you have to do nine total blitz rotations to hit your goal, three rotations a day, assuming you took your first one. Now your blitz experience is gonna end with a massive expenditure of charges. You can use between 100 and 150 a day just to make sure you're, you're still under cap. But on the last full day of blitz, you have the 300 plus charges you have to burn, the, two the 225 to 270 from the daily plus the 100. Uh, and you need to use them so you're not stuck on cap burn them all. Start with your best team, work your way down. If the team gets a win, use charges for them. Go through 25s until you no longer have teams that can win, and then 
check again. Now, as a rule, you only want to be spending charges on your S teams because they're the ones that are always going to win. If you're if you're on an A team that's not reliable and you spend charges, you're pretty much just wasting your shot, and it's not worth it to spend charges in lower multipliers because you're losing out about 10% of, of what you could be getting. There is a small window after your daily reset on the last day of Blitz between the end of this Blitz and the beginning of the next one. So if you can line up your rotation, you can get anywhere from one to three rotations, depending on your time zone, in that dead zone before you go to sleep before the next Blitz starts. That's up to you. It's always something just to keep in mind and be cognizant of. But other than that, that's it for the Eastern Hemisphere. Western Hemisphere. I am so sorry, guys. This is where we have to do work. This is where blitzing uh, at the beginning is the most important. We have anywhere from four to seven hours, two or three rotations, to spend all of those 370 charges or so I've been talking about. We've already determined that getting to Tier 8 is the first goal so we're gonna burn those charges in our opening rotation we're gonna borrow the, the points now for more points later this is usually the point when people look at me and go tony why am i spending charges on poopy shit teams when they don't get me any points uh, and i get it but if you're watching this video you're probably at least kind of interested in doing better in blitz so i'm gonna need you to suspend your disbelief for just a second and check out my logic if i spend a hundred charges on garbage teams that helps me get to tier eight on my second rotation, it is the exact same thing as if I had spent those charges on that team in tier eight. It's one for one. The only difference is that team gets one extra free 25, free 25 charge ability. Even though I am using a 20 or 30 K power team and I'm using charges on it, it's not getting me points now. The fact that later in my second and every rotation after it, I'll be getting the full points of eight, eight X multiplier. That's where those charges are going to come in handy. So it's okay to use some charges early. You don't want to blow them all and just end your, you know, your first run in tier eight and be like, great. You still want to do a little bit of efficiency, but using anywhere from hundred to 150 charges early, depending on the strength of your roster, very, very strong. It lets you start your second and then every subsequent blitz in eight, eight one, eight two, eight three, and then you're just gonna start racking up the total points. It's also important to note that we are pressed for time. In the opening four, seven hours, X rotations, we have to spend those charges. It's non-negotiable. If we're at cap and a blitz starts, we have to spend 370 charges the 100 from the daily, the 270 from the medic supply run, about, or else we are just leaving them on the table. So we might as well use them where we know we can, and then anything left over, either from the that 370 pool or left in there, just use them on your S teams in your second rotation. And if you're still watching, <laughs> I have some sample rotations based on rosters, again, ranging from 45 to 100, on how to maximize opening blitz charge efficiency. I did the math so you don't have to, they are right here. Uh, once you're in tier eight and you're done with your opening day, now you can choose to spend any number of charges whenever you like. I always, always avoid spending 50 charges on a team. Uh, it's almost never worth it in that it's if you're only one or two S tier teams, the amount of points you're gonna get spending those charges is not really gonna increase your score to a very meaningful level. So it's best to just hit your milestones, progress accordingly, and don't worry. Also remember that when you claim those charges from the medic supply run or daily, there is a gold incentive. You get an amount of gold per charge. I believe 100 is worth about 9,000 gold. Doesn't really make sense to like use them. That 9,000 gold isn't much, but it's still better than wasting a charge on something if you don't really feel like blitzing. Yeah, I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. You do want to blitz at least once every day. So, you know, use the 100 free charges you get every day, no matter what. And then what's to your liking? If your roster is just not wide enough or strong enough to start making huge points per rotations, if you're only getting about 100 to 200K per rotation, you are going to have to blitz more. You know, you're, you're getting, it's all math. 
you're not going to be getting enough points per rotation to be able to take it easy. But as you develop more S teams and A teams, as your B and trash teams grow and as more characters are released that you happen to come by, you will have more points per rotation. Your, your average amount of blitz time is going to go down. Uh, and obviously, as the game changes and as blitz changes, I will reassess what I'm doing now and release you know new videos and updates regarding that. But for now, I think this is the foundation that has led to my success in Blitz, uh, where I'm blitzing somewhere between an hour and an hour and 30 minutes a day, and I'm consistently coming in at the 14, the 1300 range in the top 1500 Blitz, uh, and plenty of other people who've uh, given me feedback. This has worked for them. Hopefully it'll work for you. And that's all for my video and this series as a whole. I'm happy I was able to lay some foundation for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a good day. Have a great night. I've been Tony Sunjili, and I'll catch you later.